Hey guys, welcome to Anna Loves Makeup. Today I'm going to be trying on two palettes that I purchased from ColourPop. One of them is the She's Got Solstice palette and the other one is the All Things Equinox palette. Both of these palettes retail for $14 each. I also have two of their lip glosses and they retail for $8 each. I have tied up and overnight so I will be applying these at the end of the video so here's the she's got solstice palette it's just really beautiful packaging it's got the words she's got solstice on the front it's got like a sun print on the front and then on the back it has all the names of the shadows that are in the palette the names are also inside the palette and here are the shadows there's nine shadows total you got a mixture of matte shadows and shimmer shadows in this palette and the palette itself is made out of like a cardboard packaging this is also made out of the same packaging it also has the all things equinox on front with a sun pattern around it and on the back of course the names of the shadows and then in here you have nine shadows with a mixture of mattes and shimmer shades there are no pressed glitters in this palette the closest thing to a glitter or a pressed glitter is this shade right here in the solstice palette it's a gold shade but it's not really a heavy glitter shade it's more of like a metallic shade with micro glitter in it so yeah there's no pressed glitters in these palettes so what i'm going to do is go ahead and start with the she's got solstice palette and show you an eye look with this palette and then we'll go into the eye look with the all things equinox palette and i don't know if i'm saying that right guys i don't know if it's equinox or equinox my kids make fun of me because I always say it wrong. But either way, you guys know what I mean. I will put the name of the palettes here so I don't confuse anyone. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial.
I did pick a neutral lip liner, which is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Cafe. I did line my lips with this because I wanted to pick a neutral type liner to use with the two glosses that I'm about to show you. These are the Lux Gloss Lip Glosses by ColourPop. And these are glosses that I've never ever tried before. So I did pick up two. There were four, I think, in the collection. And the other two were a little bit darker. And since I gravitate more towards lighter colors, I went ahead and picked these two shades up. I did get the shades tied up and overnight. Overnight's more of a peachy tone lip gloss and then tied up is more of a mauve tone. So let's go ahead and try these on. Before I do that, I do want to mention there were two blushes. I think in this collection and I did not get either one of them. They were completely sold out at Ulta. I really wanted to go ahead and do this video because I was excited to use the palette. So I didn't order the blushes, but I heard they were really pretty. I just didn't get my hands on any of them. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and try these. I am going to go in with Tight Up first. Now Tight Up is more of a mauve shade with some shimmer in it. It's a very slight shimmer. So we're going to go ahead and try that on. And they come with a very large doe foot applicator. So I'm gonna just place that on my lips. Ooh, they feel really good going on. They have like a very sweet candy scent to them. Now I do think that this is pretty, but I really thought it was gonna be a little bit more pigmented and it just looks like, just kind of like an average, you know, gloss. But I'm sure it would be really pretty on top of a light pink shade or a light mauve shade just to add that gloss effect to the lipstick. But I think it is pretty um, and it feels really good. It's not super sticky. It is a little tacky, but not really, really sticky. Um, but yeah, it feels very conditioning on the lips, so it doesn't feel too bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off and then we're going to go in with the overnight shade. All right, let's go ahead and go in with this overnight shade. Now this one's a lot more pigmented than the other one. I feel like this one adds a little bit more color to my lips and it just looks really good with that lip liner. It looks really pretty on. So yeah, this has to be my favorite out of the two. I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look on top of a lipstick, but just on its own guys, it looks so beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm loving how glossy my lips look. They just look really plump and very hydrated. So I love the way this looks and I love the way this feels on the lips. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed me doing a look using each one of these palettes. It was really fun doing these. Um, I will say that this one has got to be my favorite. So this was my least favorite palette, and it wasn't my least favorite because it wasn't a good palette or it wasn't blendable or pigmented. It was just my least favorite because I do have a lot of shades that I have been using here lately that are comparable to this one. So that's why it was my least favorite, but that's the only reason. This eyeshadow palette is really good. If you guys are looking for something more around this color scheme, I would definitely try this one. It is $14, which is very affordable, and the shadows look really beautiful on the eyes. So I would highly recommend it because I think it is a good palette. Now, as you guys know, I've already told you that this one is my favorite out of the two, and it's especially my favorite because I do love this shade right here, which is more like a brown bronze shadow with a red undertone. It's just so beautiful on the eye. I'm gonna swatch it so you guys can see. But that's it right there, it's just gorgeous. I love, love the way that goes on the eye. And then my second favorite is this purple in the middle. This is it right here. And this one is just as gorgeous as that one. It's just a lot brighter, but it's so, so pretty. I put this lighter shadow on the inner corner off camera. I didn't do it on camera, so I did want to mention that to you guys. But a little goes a long way with that shadow. It's super pigmented, so go light-handed with it. I think that these shadows went so beautifully on the eye. They're super creamy, super pigmented. So I really love this one. I think this is something that I would gravitate more towards. 
and I really feel like these shadows could be worn like on an everyday basis, especially the Solstice one. I think this one would look good for everyday looks. Either way, both of these palettes are really good palettes. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.